Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. Today is May 19th, 2013. A lot of people are practicing with network address translation inside of GNS3 and it's bombing out on them and they don't know why. So I'm going to show you what happens when you set the memory on your router uh, too low inside of GNS3 and then you turn on NAT. It's going to blow up and just to demonstrate got GNS3 open. We're going to drag in a 3725. We're going to hit play to start it up. And then we're going to console into it. And we've got this one full console window up. And it's booting up and now everything is normal. I'm going to go into interface loopback zero, pop an IP address on it. Doesn't really matter what IP address I put on it. And then I'm going to be doing IP NAT inside to basically say that that particular interface is on the inside of my network. And you can see it bombs out. I get a lot of errors and basically most people would throw up their hands and blame it on GNS3 or whatever. Okay, so this is why this is happening. If you go to edit and iOS images and hypervisors and find your particular image. So it's that one. And I know it's that one because it has the check mark default image for this platform. You'll see right here that the default RAM is 128 megabytes and that is why it's dying because that's too low of memory. When you start NAT what's going to happen is your router is going to allocate some RAM to it and this is simply not enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that to 256. I'm going to click save, get out of there, stop everything and basically restart GNS3. Actually, I'm going to restart my virtual machine in here. I'm running GNS3 inside of Linux, which is inside of VMware Workstation. So just give it a second. We're going to be coming back up in about 15 seconds or so. Uh, by the way, this is running on an SSD drive on a Core i7 overclocked to 4 gigahertz. That's why it's pretty speedy. All right, we're back up. I just have to resize my VMware window a little bit. Get that back. There you go. Okay, let's fire up GNS3 again. Drag in the 3700. Click play. Click the console window. And let's see if we get that same error again. Okay, comp T, interface loopback zero, IP address. And moment of truth, IP NAT inside. Sticks for a little bit, just as it should. No error, line protocol is up. We see NVI zero is up. So life is good. So, always remember, inside of GNS3, if you're going to be playing around with that, just go to Edit, iOS Images, click on your image, change that 256, or change that 128 to 256. And actually, uh, when you first install GNS3 and you, you set up your iOS images, just set it to 256 megabytes. Save yourself a lot of trouble, so you're not going to even have to worry about this in the future. Thanks for watching.